Hello there. If you're looking at your computer screen and or handheld mobile device and you're wondering why I haven't made a video in over two months, it's because I've come to realize that being a grown-up sucks. But on a less melancholy note, I'm happy to inform you all that in less than two months I will be graduating college! Woot woot! Now, where I'm gonna go from there is still undetermined, said every other soon-to-be college grad ever. But I do know that those student loans and my ever-growing addictions to coffee, chocolate, tea, pasta, and possibly porn are not going to pay for themselves. Once again, being a grown-up sucks, but you know what sucks even more? Being aware of your vices and knowing that you're going to do fuck all about curbing them. Alrighty, now onto the subject of this video. Yesterday, I was watching a clip from my good friend Stoutmeister, who in turn made a response to a new video from Mr. Repsion, aka the man whose dramatic readings are the stuff of every white job's wet dreams, yours truly included. Apparently, there's this guy by the username of State of Daniel who woke up one day and decided that he was going to be a weaselly little hipster fuck. So, he made a video in which atheists, apparently, need to have a little bit of faith, faith, faith in order to believe in the almighty god known as science. Now, I want you all to keep in mind that while I may be crass and profane in my arguments sometimes, alright, alright, all the time. One thing I've never done is claim to know everything there is to know about faith and religion and life without providing any proof whatsoever. I don't generalize and stereotype all people who have to belong to a particular religious sect and I damn sure don't make up bullshit about them in the process. I don't take other people's videos and use them in my own creations and not leave a link to said other people's channels to, you know, help my audience learn a little bit more about the people that I featured, cause, you know, fuck attributing credit to people, right? And I sure as hell do not post every line I said in the damn description box due to it being contrite as all fuck. But you know what? I forgive all those past transgressions, all of them, if he wasn't blatantly obvious and showing his audience what a smug little fucktard he is. That's just it. He's just a sad little fucktard trying to pull some bullshit out of his ass. In essence, if Ray William Johnson and Philip DeFranco got drunk in a sleazy motel off some box wine and made sweet, sweet, passionate love to an equally hammered Trisha Paytas, this guy would be their premature three-way love child. And that's pretty much all I have to say on this matter. I could blather on about how ignorant religious tards like this state of Daniel Douchebag are literally fucking this country even harder in the ass without so much as giving us a, ri us a heads up. But that would be an unfortunate strain on my vocal cords. Till next time, bitches. I'm Melissa Shell, and I'll definitely see y'all in hell. Peace!